kind of a dream come true playing in front of this movie. It's kind of weird. We might turn around and just watch the movie while we play a song. Did we get tra Oh, you get the trailers. What's on? Name this movie quick. First one to name it gets a CD. Oh. That was a little bad time. <laughs> K-Pax, I win. Did anyone say K-Pax? You did. All right, you got a CD. It's right over there. That's our merch table. Uh, you also have to sell the merch. I didn't tell you that. Half. I'm just kidding. Welcome. If anyone has uh, an iPhone or any phone that sort of gets the score of the Rangers Bruins game, this is the problem when you book a gig a couple weeks out. You just Bruins never know. What's that? Bruins are winning. Bruins are winning. You got a score there? One nothing. One nothing. Uh, one of the guys in this band uh, predicted that they would lose. Uh, Bruins would win in four. Was it you? I like it. I like your, uh, I said it, John, but I like the way you do it. <laughs> so, anyway, here we go. We're going to play some uh, songs we never played, and uh, we're playing some other shows in the area with uh, the guys from NRBQ down in Fairfield at the Fairfield Theater. And they're playing in Boston and New York. And we're on the J. Thomas Howard Stern Morning Show on June 14th, playing a song we wrote about J. Thomas. He was a character in Cheers named Eddie LeBeck. Does anyone know that reference? Yep. Right here. So let's hear it for the band that thinks they might get famous by writing a song about a character from Cheers named Eddie LeBeck. A dead character from A Cheers. dead character <laughs> run over by a Zamboni. We really know how to market this thing. <laughs> Can you get more obscure than that? It's Frank J. Zamboni company. Are you going to sign off on that one? Just yeah, they already, they already did. They already did. Because they like J. Thomas. <laughs> All right. That's right. We got Matt back there without a microphone, and this is probably the greatest show I'll ever play because I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Just yell out anything you want. I will. We're gonna start with a uh, rest order. Just get a little loose.
That one goes out to the documentary on Iceland. <laughs> so Hank, how are things going here? Is the AC working? Do you need me to rent about 400 videos right now to get that thing out? Or? Sorry to put down your AC. I'll be on medication by Thursday. I'm just trying to get life insurance. <laughs> This is cool. This is very nice. It's, it's really good to be here with you guys. Um, this is John. It's Matt. Carrie. And I'm Dave. This is a love song John wrote for his wife. What's it called? Back when I loved her. Oh, wow. And you're on medication. <laughs> it's a side effect. Alright. What's it called? Uh, I got a concussion when I fell for you. <laughs> Let's do it. This goes one, out to the yard version. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> What show on A and E? Intervention. <laughs> and, and have you ever drank? Oh, you, have you ever drank or done any drugs in your life? Uh, no. Have I you ever drank alcohol? Once. And where did you drink alcohol? Out of the Stanley Cup. Ah, uh, thank you. True story. <laughs> nice. So why do you? Want, what's intervention all about? Why do you love that? Why are you doing this when I don't have a mic? Is the question. Because <laughs> he can win so easily. True. Yes. Because you have a loud voice. Uh, this is the song. I'm gonna. Thank you for the AC, Hank. Feels good. If you see my one app, don't be afraid. <laughs> one pack. <laughs> this song is about the Hartford Whalers. Woo! 
That's what it sounded like when they played. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a touching song. It's called Bob Marley and the Hartford Whalers. Best title we ever wrote. And when we get our little BMI statements, that doesn't mean you're a big band. It means you just register your songs. But I look and see which ones have been played. And this song actually gets played the most in jukeboxes, those touch tunes things. Because obviously the title works. So we're working on our titles. For that and it's big in Poland. Yes. Kardashian sex song is one of our new hockey songs. <laughs> it up a little bit since we're playing uh, in the midst of the documentaries. People took a chance, so we'd like to take a musical chance tonight. <laughs> Are you almost ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. This has a couple jazz chords. <laughs> Don't hate us for it. <laughs>
blues I won't feel like it's slowing me down, down It wasn't a jazz face. Let me try. It's about the everyday life of a punk. Featuring six foot seven men on a one foot washboard. It's <laughs> one of a kind. Yeah, it's breaking. Dry heat, it'll do it. Smith. And we're gonna 
Before you say that, Dave, I have a little more uh, Zamboni's trivia. Go ahead. I, funny, in my professional life, dang, uh, a drummer move. I thought Dave <laughs> In my professional life, I write, and I got my start writing the back of VHS and DVD packages. I guarantee you there's 250 examples of my work in this room. Tell them about... A layer of the white worm, perhaps? Like... Uh, the, the, the thing with the toilet. There was a horror movie where they, they came through the toilet. Oh, yeah. Is there a horror section here? I probably... Do well there. Are there little rascals are, girls are easy here? Little Rascals, our gang, box set. Did you watch every... That was the only video you ever watched before you wrote Dirty Dancing. Part two. All right, now we rock. I'll show these guys how it's done. to anybody who can name where I stole the guitar solo from. Come on, awesome. Just yell anything. <laughs> Weather report. <laughs> Weather <laughs> fusion. Yeah. Yellow jackets. Yellow jackets. Oh, yellow. That's worse than my joke. Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on? Oh, yeah, we're there. Yeah. Johnny. Ah, okay. Any, uh, any room? Whoa. <laughs> Two nothing brooms? Two one. Two one who? Brooms. 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 John? Yeah? Oh, this one's yours. Okay. Can you hear everything? Everything all right? All right. Is everybody ready? All right. Slap shot, man. That's who I am. Put me in the game. That's your best plan. Don't bother with a trap or man to man, cause I'm a slap shot man. Stop, you have no chance. I will have to warn you in advance. 
songs as often as possible. So this is one we made up in the last couple weeks. And uh, maybe a little longer, but... It's a song about writing songs. It's a song about writing songs. It's a song... Sorry to do that voice. Life gets busy. You know, things get busy. Not for you two. Okay. Well, life ahead of you. Jerks. <laughs> but, uh, just kidding. If your dad's here, I was just screwing around. Um, but uh, there's not a lot of time left to do these things that we love to do. So you have to really make time and do it. So that's what this song's about. But uh, it's got a happy ending. Well, we'll change that right now. Let's just, let's just make that last line less dark. Uh, give me a stick of gum. T <laughs> <laughs> berry. Yeah, just anything that rhymes with. What's the last line? Uh, life's not fun. Life's not. <laughs> Change that, guys. Don't tell them to, hey, give me a stick of gum. <laughs> That'll brighten up the whole song. <laughs> Thank you. 
21 Deans here. Hi, Dean. I like your curls. <laughs> Alright, we won't play a song that Dean's on. If he wants to play with us, he can step forward. Well, let's do this. Uh, I'm not wearing my cup. You're not. <laughs> Forget it. We've always worn cups. I wanted to start this band like when I was seven, and I wore a cup right through. through this band. That, makes so that is very, you are much looser than us, very limber. What's next there? You want to do that? That's a rock and roll number. Let's do it. We love that RBQ. Cancel out, so it's uh, it's very nice to be here. Thanks, guys. 
hopefully we'll take a corn and potato gig too. Thanks to Hank Hoffman, uh, so you, you mentioned the happy ending before, Dave, of that song. Yeah. Hank yeah. has a great band called Happy Ending, and thanks, Hank, for having us here. Thank you, Hank. Set this up. Thank you, Hank. He's Thank gracious, you. He's a gracious host. Uh, Hank puts away videos really fast, too. I had a video here to talk about and make a little joke about, and it was filed away in two freaking seconds. I have no idea what it was. I have no memory. He's a total pro. Hank, may I ask a favor, though? Can you grab uh, the, the, the movie about the dog that I mentioned over there for one second? Uh, the, the very, that's one of the saddest movies ever made. You have two copies, two different covers. Old Yeller? No. Yes. Bring it on over. Change the title of this song. This, this song goes out to Sounder. <laughs> Anybody seen this movie? This is the saddest movie ever. You have to rent this. <laughs> Dean Falcone, you're a pop culture master. They tell the dog to get away, but they love the dog. And they, they made me cry. They made me cry. It's a good dog movie. Whenever I got afraid, uh, whenever I was afraid of Jaws, I would think about Sounder. <laughs> and I was sad and not scared. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I tossed it. All right, you have to buy that. Yeah. I will buy that. I will buy Sounder. <laughs> so this call, this song is called. Uh, it goes out to Thelonious Monk, NRBQ, and Sounder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just go.
your dad an actor? Was, was my dad an actor? Yeah. He acted like he liked me. Because you have a uh, doppelganger in this movie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he certainly took me to see it when I was way too young. <laughs> Matt, who was more? Is there a sex scene in this movie that? Uh, is yeah, you missed it. I didn't miss it. Well, yeah. I didn't either. I was watching behind big boobs behind your head. Big boobs behind your head. That's track four up there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was talking about me and Matt. The only non-hockey song I ever wrote. <laughs> big boobs behind your head. All that jazz, you got a tune, man. So we're gonna play a show with Dean. Dean is coming in because. John can't make it, but we're playing on the J. Thomas Howard Stern Morning Show on June 14th. And uh, we wrote the song about Eddie LeBeck and uh, whatever, we talked about that. But Dean's filling in because... Thank you, Dean. Because you can't say this about many people, but Dean is a huge J. Thomas fan. Somebody's got to be. Somebody's got to be. Uh, Let's do it. So this is a song we actually never played live until uh, Big Fat Combo played in Bridgeport one day and Tom Hearn, their, uh, their captain and leader, so why don't you come up and sing your song, Wait, uh, Whirlwind. That would sound good. We should do that. And I went up there and they did it. And uh, so we played this uh, last night and we're going to try it here. It's actually a, it's a written about a guy named Eric Goddard. If there's any freaking obsessive hockey fans, he played for the Pittsburgh Penguins. But he used to play for uh, the Sound Tigers and became friends with them. And he was a goon. That was his job. Interesting life, and their hands are human hands, and they just they're in pain, they're in a lot of pain. So, this is a story about him. He was AHL, minor leagues, drinking, things happen, goes down, goes down two leagues, goes down possibly three leagues, cleans up in a, a team, I think in Alaska or Vegas, comes back and wins the Stanley Cup with the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, this is a called the, uh, the Ballad of Godsey. It's called Whirlwind, the Ballad of Godsey, Eric Goddard. Just one more quick thing. It doesn't mention any hockey in it, but that's the key to our band. It's, it could be a serious song about this guy's journey, but uh, it doesn't have to be I punched you in the face. Fuck you, we never wrote the song Fuck You, and we never will. Did you forget the words? Is that why we're doing this? No, all right. I'm to sweat my ass. We gotta play an hour, you know? <laughs>
you very much. Uh, Captain? What time we got, Hank? We'll play for three hours. <laughs> well, we won't do that to you. Hope you guys are having some fun. We are obviously having a little too much fun. <laughs> Anybody want to talk about a film they've rented from this place? <laughs> What's the best video you've ever rented from a video store? Please respond. Someone. Best video you've ever rented from a video store. Hank, you're included. I'm a professional. I can stay out of it. <laughs> faces of Death 2. Faces of Death 7. Wow. Do you carry any of the Faces of Death series? 18. Um, All right. Thank you, thank you, Hank, for that. Uh, okay. Let's do it. This well, we can special order one for you if you want to buy one. I want Phases of Death 7. I want uh, probably... Um, the one where they eat the monkey's brain? Yes. No, that was, uh, that was like the first one. That's what got it all the heat. That's the only one I saw. I need the swimmer, if anyone has the swimmer. Oh, that's a great movie. Do you have the swimmer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a great movie. Charlton Heston. Yeah. This goes out to Charlton Heston. It's called <laughs> Captain. Burt Lancaster. Oh, it's Burt Lancaster. This goes out to Burt Lancaster. <laughs>
tank. Thanks everybody for sticking out. Bean, you want to play anything or you want to just sit back there? You're wearing a suede jacket? Just curious. It's not hot enough in here. Oh my god. So your hair curled just in the heaters. You know, I got a perm in, in ninth grade. My mother gave me a perm. Uh, you remember that? I can't believe my mother did that. I look back there and I see me in ninth grade. Holy oh, shit. I can't believe I got a perm. How's everybody here, right? <laughs> I got my straight hair. I had John Stamos's hair, and then I, I said, Mom, I, I need to look like this guy I'm going to meet in 20 years, Dean Falcone. Bring me the Stevie Salaji right now and get me a perm. I want to be called Prince Valiant by the whole school. I can't wait until I get this life insurance. <laughs> Uh, this one, we're going to play it just to feature Kerry and his fancy fingers. Oh, no, no, no. Alright. I kind of like I'll your, your deep voice, your deep manly voice, Dave. It's called The Greatest Season. It's off uh, one of our early, early records. And it's actually a true story. Uh, we thought the Islanders were, they went 9-0 and and we thought they were going to go undefeated the whole season. But it didn't happen. But if they did, this would this, this is the song. Now let me go on record saying the Islanders suck. <laughs> <laughs> Except in soundcheck, no. or should we play a new uh, an old song? Old song? Old song? Soundcheck. Old song? Old song? Soundcheck. Okay. I like both, but uh, we're here. We're here. I might as well play both. So, old song, any request? Anything? Russian pop. Shot score. Russian pop. Shot score. Break away. Break away. Johnny got suspended. All right, we'll do, <laughs> since Brian drove from uh, Massachusetts, wink, we'll play Breakaway. What do you want? Russian pop. Russian pop. 
That's a good one. It's Matt's favorite too. It's a drummer. You know it? Oh, gosh. Yeah, but you know what? My hands are real sweaty. I don't know if I can play it right now with that. All right. We'll play it for you in your bedroom Thursday. <laughs> I'm going to have my shirt on. We'll play Breakaway. Uh, we, we, we can play Johnny. Breakaway. Boring. Want to play Johnny? Sure. We can just talk about it until yeah. Hank Hoffman says, You guys weren't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll play Johnny. Uh, we have uh, CDs are five bucks for you guys because you're here. T shirts are ten bucks for you because you're here. <laughs> you charge me two dollars for those shirts. Johnny got to spend Johnny got to spend Sedano Charna, because uh, I talked to a guy from the Boston Chara. I talked to a guy from the Boston Globe today, and he's like, hey, you're coming to Boston, we should write it up. Is there any content you have that's like current? I said, yeah, we just wrote a song called Manster, which is actually a song we got called I Got Your Name. And he's like, really? Because the slip up, they called Sedano Chara the other night a, mon a Manster instead of a monster. I said, exactly. He goes, send me that song. I said, great. So, Dave, it's three to three right now. What? It's three to three, I'm telling you. Oh, let me, let's play this oh, one God. fast. It could be legendary. <laughs> there we go. So we don't know the words to it. Here we go. No, they don't have cable, right, Hank? No cable. They can't have cable. Yeah, they don't have cable. We don't have Netflix either. Well, that's, that's a good point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They don't have cable anywhere. You should all feel horrible for having any sort of cable or boo. God, how insulting and disgraceful to come in here with that stuff. <laughs>
some money in the donation phase over here. I'm sure they'd appreciate that too. Another big round of applause for the Zamboni. <laughs>